Well, when you have questions, we verify to get you answers. Summer vacation season. I'm so excited um, because I'm included in that. Um, <laughs> has people crisscrossing the country, even the world, for some eye-opening new adventures. Okay, but an old adage asserts that some trips have you needing more shut-eye to recover than others. Abby Larico joins us live from Reagan National Airport this morning to verify. Abby, good morning. What did you find out? Hey guys, good morning. Well, travelers here already know that once you have your hotel booked, your plane ticket in hand, your itinerary planned, a little bit of jet lag is a small price to pay for a big trip once you've arrived, but it's still helpful to know what you're in for and how to recover. Let's verify. Is jet lag likely to be worse traveling west to east than east to west? We checked in with these sources, which all agree, yes. Traveling across multiple time zones can affect the body's circadian rhythm, causing jet lag, which the CDC defines as a temporary sleep disorder that can affect your mood, your ability to concentrate, and your physical and mental performance. Researchers from the University of Maryland found people traveling nine time zones east need nearly two weeks to feel better and recover from jet lag, but people traveling the same distance west needed less than eight days. However, they also found fewer time zones crossed meant a smaller impact. Traveling between the east coast and the west coast of the U.S., for example, takes about four days of adjustment either way, though it's still a bit easier traveling west. This 2010 article by Rush University scientists explains why. The human body's natural circadian clock is often longer than 24 hours, so people have a natural tendency to want to stay up and sleep in later. That makes it easier for westbound travelers to adapt to the added hours they get by flying across time zones. The Cleveland Clinic says there's no guaranteed way to prevent jet lag, but it could help to adjust your schedule before you travel to make the transition a little easier. And once you arrive, spend some time in the sunshine and drink plenty of water to feel awake and alert and ready for your travels. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.